in differential geometry, representation theory and harmonic analysis, a symmetric space is a pseudo-Riemannian manifold whose group of symmetries contains an inversion symmetry about every point. This can be made more precise, in either the language of Riemannian geometry or of Lie theory. The Riemannian definition is more geometric, and plays a deep role in the theory of holonomy. The Lie theoretic definition is more algebraic. In Riemannian geometry, a complete, simply connected Riemannian manifold is a symmetric space if and only if its curvature tensor is invariant under parallel transport. More generally, a Riemannian manifold M, G, is said to be symmetric if and only if, for each point P of M, there exists an isometry of M fixing P and acting on the tangent space T P M T underscore P M of M at P by minus the identity. Every symmetric space is complete, and has a finite cover which is a simply connected symmetric space, thus these two characterizations in fact coincide up to finite covers. Both descriptions can also naturally be extended to the setting of pseudo-Riemannian manifolds. From the point of view of Lie theory, a symmetric space is the quotient G, H of Lie group G by a Lie subgroup H, where the Lie algebra H of H is also required to be the plus one eigenspace of an involution of the Lie algebra G display style math frac g of g as stated this characterization includes pseudo riemannian spaces as well as a riemannian ones extra algebraic conditions are needed to restrict to the riemannian case Riemannian symmetric spaces arise in a wide variety of situations in both mathematics and physics they were first classified by Ali Carton. Their central role in the theory of holonomy was discovered by Marcel Berger. They are important objects of study in representation theory and harmonic analysis as well as in differential geometry. Topic: <laughs> Definition using geodesic symmetries. Let M be a connected Riemannian manifold and P a point of M an automorphism F of a neighborhood of P is said to be a geodesic symmetry if it fixes the point P and reverses geodesics through that point, i.e. if γ is a geodesic and γ 0 equals P display style gamma 0 equals p then f gamma t equals gamma minus t display style f gamma t equals gamma t it follows that the derivative of the map at P is minus the identity map on the tangent space of P. On a general Riemannian manifold, F need not be isometric, nor can it be extended, in general, from a neighborhood of P to all of M. M is said to be locally Riemannian symmetric if its geodesic symmetries are in fact isometric. This is equivalent to the vanishing of the covariant derivative of the curvature tensor. A locally symmetric space is said to be a globally symmetric space if, in addition, its geodesic symmetries are defined on all of M. Topic: <laughs> Basic properties. 
The Carton Ambrose Hicks theorem implies that M is locally Riemannian symmetric if and only if its curvature tensor is covariantly constant, and furthermore that every simply connected, complete locally Riemannian symmetric space is actually Riemannian symmetric. Every Riemannian symmetric space M is complete and Riemannian homogeneous meaning that the isometry group of M acts transitively on M. In fact, already the identity component of the isometry group acts transitively on M because M is connected. Locally Riemannian symmetric spaces that are not Riemannian symmetric may be constructed as quotients of Riemannian symmetric spaces by discrete groups of isometries with no fixed points, and as open subsets of locally Riemannian symmetric spaces. Examples <laughs> 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 Basic examples of Riemannian symmetric spaces are Euclidean space, spheres, projective spaces, and hyperbolic spaces, each with their standard Riemannian metrics. More examples are provided by compact, semi-simple Lie groups equipped with a bi-invariant Riemannian metric. An example of a non-Riemannian symmetric space is anti-de Sitter space. Every compact Riemann surface of genus greater than 1 with its usual metric of constant curvature minus 1 is a locally symmetric space but not a symmetric space. Topic: <laughs> General definition Let G be a connected Lie group then a symmetric space for G is a homogeneous space G, H where the stabilizer H of a typical point is an open subgroup of the fixed point set of an involution σ in AUT, G. Thus σ is an automorphism of G with σ2 equals ID G and H is an open subgroup of the set G σ equals G element of G sigma G equals G display style G caret sigma equals G in G sigma G equals G because H is open, it is a union of components of G sigma, including, of course, the identity component. As an automorphism of G, sigma fixes the identity element, and hence, by differentiating at the identity, it induces an automorphism of the Lie algebra G. Display style math frac G of G, also denoted by sigma, whose square is the identity. It follows that the eigenvalues of sigma are plus or minus 1. The plus 1 eigenspace is the Lie algebra H display style math frac H of H, since this is the Lie algebra of G sigma, and the minus one eigenspace will be denoted M display style math frac M. Since sigma is an automorphism of G display style math frac G, this gives a direct sum decomposition G equals H M display style math frac G equals math frac H O plus math frac M with H H H H M M M M H 
Display style math frac h math frac h subset math frac h math frac h math frac m subset math frac m math frac m math frac m subset math frac h. The first condition is automatic for any homogeneous space. It just says the infinitesimal stabilizer h. Display style math frac h is a Lie subalgebra of g. Display style math frac g. The second condition means that m display style math frac m is an h display style math frac h invariant complement to h display style math frac h in g display style math frac g Thus any symmetric space is a reductive homogeneous space, but there are many reductive homogeneous spaces which are not symmetric spaces. The key feature of symmetric spaces is the third condition that m brackets into h Conversely, given any Lie algebra G display style math frac G with a direct sum decomposition satisfying these three conditions, the linear map sigma equal to the identity on H display style math frac H and minus the identity on M display style math frac m is an involutive automorphism topic <laughs> riemannian symmetric spaces satisfy the lie theoretic characterization If M is a Riemannian symmetric space, the identity component G of the isometry group of M is a Lie group acting transitively on M. M is Riemannian homogeneous. Therefore, if we fix some point P of M, M is diffeomorphic to the quotient G, K, where K denotes the isotropy group of the action of G on M at P. By differentiating the action at P we obtain an isometric action of K on T P M. This action is faithful e.g., by a theorem of constant, any isometry in the identity component is determined by its one jet at any point and so K is a subgroup of the orthogonal group of TPM, hence compact. Moreover, if we denote by SP, MM the geodesic symmetry of M at P, the map sigma G G H S P H S P display style sigma G to G H maps to S underscore P circ H circ S underscore P is an involutive Lie group automorphism such that the isotropy group K is contained between the fixed point group of σ and its identity component, hence an open subgroup. To summarize, M is a symmetric space G, K with a compact isotropy group K. Conversely, symmetric spaces with compact isotropy group are Riemannian symmetric spaces, although not necessarily in a unique way. To obtain a Riemannian symmetric space structure we need to fix a k-invariant inner product on the tangent space to G, k at the identity cos a x, 
such an inner product always exists by averaging, since K is compact, and by acting with G, we obtain a G invariant Riemannian metric G on G, K. To show that G, K is Riemannian symmetric, consider any point P equals H K a cosa of K, where H element of G and define S P M M H K H Sigma H minus one H K Display style s underscore p m to m h ik maps to h sigma h caret minus one h k, where sigma is the involution of g fixing k, then one can check that s p is an isometry with clearly s p p equals p, and by differentiating d s p equal to minus the identity on t p m. Thus S P is a geodesic symmetry and, since P was arbitrary, M is a Riemannian symmetric space. If one starts with a Riemannian symmetric space M, and then performs these two constructions in sequence, then the Riemannian symmetric space yielded is isometric to the original one. This shows that the algebraic data G, K, Sigma, G completely describe the structure of M. Topic: Classification of Riemannian symmetric spaces. The algebraic description of Riemannian symmetric spaces enabled Ali Carton to obtain a complete classification of them in 1926. For a given Riemannian symmetric space M let G, K, sigma, G be the algebraic data associated to it. To classify the possible isometry classes of M, first note that the universal cover of a Riemannian symmetric space is again Riemannian symmetric, and the covering map is described by dividing the connected isometry group G of the covering by a subgroup of its center. Therefore, we may suppose without loss of generality that M is simply connected, this implies K is connected by the long exact sequence of a fibration, because G is connected by assumption. <laughs> Classification scheme A simply connected Riemannian symmetric space is said to be irreducible if it is not the product of two or more Riemannian symmetric spaces. It can then be shown that any simply connected Riemannian symmetric space is a Riemannian product of irreducible ones. Therefore, we may further restrict ourselves to classifying the irreducible, simply connected Riemannian symmetric spaces. The next step is to show that any irreducible, simply connected Riemannian symmetric space M is of one of the following three types 1. Euclidean type, M has vanishing curvature, and is therefore isometric to a Euclidean space. 2. Compact type, M has non-negative but not identically zero sectional curvature. 3. Non-compact type, M has non-positive but not identically zero sectional curvature. A more refined invariant is the rank, which is the maximum dimension of a subspace of the tangent space to any point on which the curvature is identically zero. The rank is always at least one, with equality if the sectional curvature is positive or negative. If the curvature is positive, the space is of compact type, and if negative, it is of noncompact type. 
The spaces of Euclidean type have rank equal to their dimension and are isometric to a Euclidean space of that dimension. Therefore, it remains to classify the irreducible, simply connected Riemannian symmetric spaces of compact and non-compact type. In both cases there are two classes. A, G is a real simple Lie group. B, G is either the product of a compact simple Lie group with itself compact type, or a complexification of such a Lie group non-compact type. The examples in class B are completely described by the classification of simple Lie groups. For compact type, M is a compact simply connected simple Lie group, G is M times M and K is the diagonal subgroup. For non-compact type, G is a simply connected complex simple Lie group and K is its maximal compact subgroup. In both cases, the rank is the rank of G. The compact simply connected Lie groups are the universal covers of the classical Lie groups S O N Display style mathram so n s u n display style mathram su n s p n display style mathram s p n and the five exceptional Lie groups E6, E7, E8, F4, G2. The examples of class A are completely described by the classification of noncompact simply connected real simple Lie groups. For non-compact type, G is such a group and K is its maximal compact subgroup. Each such example has a corresponding example of compact type, by considering a maximal compact subgroup of the complexification of G which contains K more directly. The examples of compact type are classified by involutive automorphisms of compact simply connected simple Lie groups G up to conjugation. Such involutions extend to involutions of the complexification of G, and these in turn classify non-compact real forms of G. In both class A and class B there is thus a correspondence between symmetric spaces of compact type and non-compact type. This is known as duality for Riemannian symmetric spaces. Classification result Specializing to the Riemannian symmetric spaces of class A and compact type, Carton found that there are the following seven infinite series and twelve exceptional Riemannian symmetric spaces G, K. They are here given in terms of G and K, together with a geometric interpretation, if readily available. The labeling of these spaces is the one given by Carton. Topic as Grassmannians A more modern classification Huang and Leung 2011 uniformly classifies the Riemannian symmetric spaces, both compact and non-compact, via a Freudenthal magic square construction. The irreducible compact Riemannian symmetric spaces are, up to finite covers, either a compact simple Lie group, a Grassmannian, a Lagrangian Grassmannian, or a double Lagrangian Grassmannian of subspaces of a B n, display style math bf a o times math bf b caret n. For normed division algebras A and B, a similar construction produces the irreducible non-compact Riemannian symmetric spaces. Topic: <laughs> Symmetric spaces in general. 
an important class of symmetric spaces generalizing the Riemannian symmetric spaces are pseudo-Riemannian symmetric spaces, in which the Riemannian metric is replaced by a pseudo-Riemannian metric non-degenerate instead of positive definite on each tangent space. In particular, Lorentzian symmetric spaces, i.e., n dimensional pseudo Riemannian symmetric spaces of signature n 1, 1, are important in general relativity, the most notable examples being Minkowski space, de Sitter space, and anti de Sitter space with zero, positive and negative curvature respectively. De Sitter space of dimension n may be identified with the one sheeted hyperboloid in a Minkowski space of dimension n plus 1. Symmetric and locally symmetric spaces in general can be regarded as affine symmetric spaces. If m equals g, h is a symmetric space, then Nomizu showed that there is a g-invariant torsion-free affine connection i.e. an affine connection whose torsion tensor vanishes on m whose curvature is parallel. Conversely a manifold with such a connection is locally symmetric i.e., its universal cover is a symmetric space. Such manifolds can also be described as those affine manifolds whose geodesic symmetries are all globally defined affine diffeomorphisms, generalizing the Riemannian and pseudo-Riemannian case. Classification results the classification of Riemannian symmetric spaces does not extend readily to the general case for the simple reason that there is no general splitting of a symmetric space into a product of irreducibles. Here a symmetric space G, H with Lie algebra G equals H M Display style math frac g equals math frac h o plus math frac m is said to be irreducible if m display style math frac m is an irreducible representation of h display style math frac h since h Display style math frac h is not semi-simple or even reductive in general. It can have indecomposable representations which are not irreducible. However, the irreducible symmetric spaces can be classified. As shown by Katsumi Nomizu, there is a dichotomy, an irreducible symmetric space G, H is either flat i.e., an affine space or G is semi-simple. This is the analogue of the Riemannian dichotomy between Euclidean spaces and those of compact or noncompact type, and it motivated M. Berger to classify semi-simple symmetric spaces i.e., those with g semi-simple and determine which of these are irreducible. The latter question is more subtle than in the Riemannian case, even if g display style math frac g is simple, g h might not be irreducible. As in the Riemannian case, there are semi-simple symmetric spaces with g equals h times h. Any semi-simple symmetric space is a product of symmetric spaces of this form with symmetric spaces such that g display style math frac g is simple. It remains to describe the latter case. For this, one needs to classify involutions sigma of a real simple Lie algebra 
G display style math frac G if G C display style math frac G carrot C is not simple then G display style math frac G is a complex simple Lie algebra, and the corresponding symmetric spaces have the form G, H, where H is a real form of G. These are the analogues of the Riemannian symmetric spaces G, K with G a complex simple Lie group, and K a maximal compact subgroup. Thus we may assume G C Display style math frac G carrot C is simple. The real subalgebra G display style math frac G may be viewed as the fixed point set of a complex antilinear involution tau of G C display style math frac G carrot C while Sigma extends to a complex antilinear involution of G C display style math frac G carrot C commuting with tau and hence also a complex linear involution Sigma tau the classification therefore reduces to the classification of commuting pairs of antilinear involutions of a complex Lie algebra. The composite sigma tau determines a complex symmetric space, while tau determines a real form. From this it is easy to construct tables of symmetric spaces for any given G C display style math frac g caret c and furthermore there is an obvious duality given by exchanging sigma and tau this extends the compact non-compact duality from the riemannian case where either sigma or tau is a cartan involution i.e. its fixed point set is a maximal compact subalgebra Topic Tables The following table indexes the real symmetric spaces by complex symmetric spaces and real forms, for each classical and exceptional complex simple Lie group. For exceptional simple Lie groups, the Riemannian case is included explicitly below, by allowing σ to be the identity involution indicated by a dash. In the above tables this is implicitly covered by the case KL equals zero. <laughs> Weakly symmetric Riemannian spaces In the 1950s ATLE Selberg extended Cartan's definition of symmetric space to that of weakly symmetric Riemannian space, or in current terminology weakly symmetric space. These are defined as Riemannian manifolds M with a transitive connected Lie group of isometries G and an isometry σ normalizing G such that given X, Y in M there is an isometry S in G such that S X. Sigma Y and C Sigma X, Selberg's assumption that Sigma 2 should be an element of G was later shown to be unnecessary by Ernest Vinberg. Selberg proved that weakly symmetric spaces give rise to Gelfand pairs, so that in particular the unitary representation of G on L2 M is multiplicity free. Selberg's definition can also be phrased equivalently in terms of a generalization of geodesic symmetry. 
it is required that for every point x in M and tangent vector x at x, there is an isometry S of M, depending on x and x, such that S fixes x The derivative of S at x sends x to x, when S is independent of x, M is a symmetric space. An account of weakly symmetric spaces and their classification by Akieza and Vinberg, based on the classification of periodic automorphisms of complex semi-simple Lie algebras, is given in Wolf 2007. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applications and special cases. Topic: Symmetric spaces and holonomy. If the identity component of the holonomy group of a Riemannian manifold at a point acts irreducibly on the tangent space, then either the manifold is a locally Riemannian symmetric space, or it is in one of seven families. Topic. Hermitian symmetric spaces A Riemannian symmetric space which is additionally equipped with a parallel complex structure compatible with the Riemannian metric is called a Hermitian symmetric space. Some examples are complex vector spaces and complex projective spaces, both with the usual Riemannian metric, and the complex unit balls with suitable metrics so that they become complete and Riemannian symmetric. An irreducible symmetric space G, K is Hermitian if and only if K contains a central circle. A quarter turn by this circle acts as multiplication by I on the tangent space at the identity cos A. Thus the Hermitian symmetric spaces are easily read off of the classification. In both the compact and the non-compact cases it turns out that there are four infinite series, namely AIII, BDI with P equals 2, DIII and C, and two exceptional spaces, namely EIII and EVII. The non-compact Hermitian symmetric spaces can be realized as bounded symmetric domains in complex vector spaces. Topic: quaternion kala symmetric spaces. A Riemannian symmetric space, which is additionally equipped with a parallel subbundle of n trademark isomorphic to the imaginary quaternions at each point, and compatible with the Riemannian metric, is called quaternion kala symmetric space. An irreducible symmetric space G, K is quaternion Kala if and only if isotropy representation of K contains an sp sum and acting like the unit quaternions on a quaternionic vector space. Thus the quaternion Kala symmetric spaces are easily read off from the classification. In both the compact and the non-compact cases it turns out that there is exactly one for each complex simple Lie group, namely AI with P. <laughs> 2 or Q 2 These are isomorphic, BDI with P. Topic four or Q four CII with P Topic one or Q one EII EV EIX Phi and G Topic Bot periodicity theorem 
In the Bott periodicity theorem, the loop spaces of the stable orthogonal group can be interpreted as reductive symmetric spaces. Topic. See also Orthogonal symmetric Lie algebra Relative root system Satake diagram <laughs>